I definitely slept in this morning. The jet lag hit hard, uh, day three. I just got my double espresso and I'm walking over to the opera house. I wanted to go when they first opened, but my alarm didn't go off and frankly, I needed to sleep. But um, I'm gonna go see if they have any extra tickets for tonight for the ballet. Fingers crossed on that because I've always wanted to see a show there. I'm a big Phantom fan and anybody who's seen the Phantom of the Opera knows that the Garnier Opera House is where everything takes place. So uh, it would be really cool to actually get to see a show there. I have done the tour, which is 100% worth doing. It's gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, I'm just about to head in and uh, we'll see if we get lucky. <laughs> here so I really didn't think it was gonna be possible I got the very last ticket uh, 10 euros they also told me I can come back at 6 30 tonight they said normally they do get a couple last-minute returns uh, and if they can they'll upgrade me to a full view seat but at the very least at least I'm getting to see the ballet here My original plans just didn't make sense. I was going to go to the museum, but I also just didn't want to go in there and rush because I was only going to have like an hour. So I decided to just kind of wander around and I ended up on um, the famous like Love Lock Bridge. You can see there's people behind me selling the lock. So if you come here and you want to do the Love Lock, you can just, you know, if you don't bring your own lock, you know, you're probably going to spend a ton of money buying off of one of these dudes. But, uh, cool to do if you come here with somebody. It's it's romantic. Um, I don't know. I was here with my ex and we didn't do it and we broke up so maybe there's something to the love lock thing but uh, I guess you'll have to try it and see. find an entrance, which hopefully is soon, because I think I've gone almost the entire way around it now. I will film it, so hopefully you don't get as lost as everybody else seems to be. Okay, I've gone the whole way around it, but I don't see the entrance I was at this morning, which means it's either been covered up because the tours are done for today, or they've just moved the construction again. I don't know, this is, thank God, I'm really for once. Oh, here we go. I think I found it. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm back out on the street. They did not have any upgrades at the moment, and they had like 12 people waiting in line in the case that somebody would return tickets. So I figured my time was going to be better spent wandering around taking photos, and um, they let people into the theater at 7.15, so I figured it'd be nice to actually, you know, get to go in and wander around instead of sitting downstairs near the box office hoping for a miracle. The good news is either way, I've got a ticket, um, and we'll be going in very shortly. Okay, so fun fact, you hear that noise behind me, that is the bell, it means get to your seats. Okay, so the ballet just ended, it was really amazing. I couldn't recommend this enough, uh, whether you're here solo or as a date, as a date, perfect. It was super romantic, super gorgeous. Come on. Who doesn't love the feet of little It's gorgeous. Seriously, like, I can't wait to come back. Like, this is a must. Okay, so after the ballet, there's nothing better than grabbing a hot wine, coming down to the Seine, and taking a little stroll to see the Eiffel Tower sparkle. It's, I mean, it's very cliche, it's very touristy, but like, man, is it gorgeous. It's seriously the best. Um, if you do go to the ballet, you should have enough time to walk down to the Seine. There's a place not too far from here that sells hot wine along here, so it's easy to do. It's five euros, and then, uh, you get to see the tower sparkle.